back on the bike again finally and it seems like such a long time because of um, all the work commitments this year that I've got to do. I've hardly been out the house. So this feels good again to get back on the bike and come out exploring. This time I'm heading directly west into the mountains. I've kind of stayed away from this place before because there's not really any towns out there except from directly beside Beijing. But what I have found is a hotel and it's not <laughs> horizontally it's not too far from a starting point overall it's between 80 and 90 kilometers so that's nothing um what is kind of worrying me is that it's three kilometers up three kilometers elevation three thousand meters so that's going to be fun especially on this bike all um packed up with all my gear weather seems okay a little bit chilly overcast but better than scorching hot like it usually is when i'm out on this bike right let's go So I've just found this lovely little cafe down here and it's um, I think this is basically just before I start going up into the mountains so this is fantastic I'm gonna stop off here have a coffee like matcha latte and then get on with things Mountains now. It's a bit of a steep. A few peaks, a few drops. We're going a little bit slower now, but enjoy the scenery considerably more.
Well, definitely in the mountains now. Everything's getting a lot steeper. I'm getting a lot slower. My legs are getting a lot more tired, but I'm just in the easiest gear, trudging along, going slowly. And yeah, slow and steady. Fine. Oh, hold on, cars going on this side of the road. Yeah, look at the view for a minute. Isn't that nice? It's beautiful up here, but sorry if anyone from Wales is watching, which, you know, seeing as though nobody watches my videos, statistically, it's unlikely, but yeah, it reminds me of Wales, where you got some beautiful mountains and hills, then they just put a fucking estate in the middle of it, and it just looks like shite. But yeah, just ignore that part, and then yeah, everything else is beautiful. Hopefully, the hotel should be somewhere around here. Fingers and toes crossed, because I don't want to do any more riding. Is this it? Traditional Chinese village, waterfront village. Something else. Please be close. Restaurant and tea, Hillflower Restaurant. Might be this place with some luck. <sighs> okay, can you see that? So apparently it's just up that path. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit nervous about this. Where the hell am I sleeping tonight? Oh. Just gonna rest here for a minute, then I'll um, brave it to wherever I'm sleeping. Well, in this shit. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing it's up this slope here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting there. I'm getting a bit chilly now. Yeah, this looks like the hotel. Is this it? What the hell is going on? Apparently I'm right on top of it. Yeah, that's enough. Go. Down there. 
hope not. Oh, I think I see it. Ni hao? Ni hao. Hehehe, switch the lights on. Ni hao. This is Jody and Ma. Do it. Oh, tai hao le. Oh, Jody be down ni. We yoga iga yu. Zao shang wo mai le iga fang jian. Okay, I arrived, um, surf and sound, um, nice little room, it's gone dark now, it's been a bit of a time jump since I actually got here, because, yeah, when I first went in, it was a little bit strange, it's like the lights were out, and it felt like nobody was here, but then um, people started coming in, they were all a bit curious about why there's a foreigner coming around in this area, because I don't think they get them much, I, I, just after dinner, I took photographs with all the staff, uh, the usual thing, where they're asking for photographs, uh, speaking of dinner, dinner was nice. Um, I ordered it. Um, as I arrived, you just you pointed out what things were on the menu. Um, I had like um, beef and chicken and peanuts and fried rice and the biggest bowl of soup you've ever seen. Couldn't finish all of it, obviously, but I sat there, just had a couple of drinks and just chilled out, watched some stuff on my phone. Um, on the way here as well, at the um, mountain before I descended, it was interesting. I was kind of coming up the like the road, like absolutely exhausted, and just there in front of me was what looked like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wagon. Um, some guy s selling coffees in there, so I stopped off. Obviously, every time I see somewhere selling a coffee up a mountain, I'm gonna stop off and relax. Um, but he, he was there with all his mates, and they put these like um tin plates somehow in all the trees, and it was all just like shooting them with a catapult. All these bikers that was pretty interesting, but yeah, um. Right, tomorrow, um, I might just be setting off back home, I think. Most probably, um, I, I, it depends on the weather, though, because I think it's raining a bit. So I'm going to hold on and see how bad the rain is. Because if it's absolutely pissing down, I've got like a rain jacket, but I really don't fancy, especially with, with the steep declines here, actually going home down this mountain in the rain. We'll have to see, though. Um, yeah, come up, mate. So I have my plans for tomorrow, I'm not sure. I might even go further into the mountains yet, if the weather's okay. It just depends. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm going to settle down, have myself a couple of beers, and um, just chill out, I think, and um, try and edit this video together. Or maybe just fall asleep and get drunk. Either one. So it's um, raining already this morning. I've checked the forecast, so I'm going to hold off. And I think um, I'll set off later when hopefully it stops. But I'm going to have to go slow because, yep, the roads are going to be wet. I'm thinking, though, maybe I'm going to go north, head into Yenching. Oh, we're in the clouds. I'll turn the camera on in a minute. But yeah, head into Yenching, uh, get another hotel. And then tomorrow, head back home. Okay, setting off. 
Oh, not too far today, but <laughs> most of the trips through the mountains. So probably gonna be pretty exhausting. I've got all the clothes on because it's a bit chilly. I've got my uh, casual pants on uh, all over me, cycling shorts, and my t-shirt over my cycling top. See how it goes. If I start to get warm, which I doubt, I can take them off. Let's take the um, jacket and t-shirt off. And wow, when there's no cars here, it's just so nice and peaceful. All right, I can hear one in the distance. I think I've just jinxed myself. Time to set off. Finally going to be a descent. I set off over an hour ago, and apart from that first descent, no, 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 it's another incline. <laughs> no, apart from that first descent, leaving the hotel, I have just been going up and up and up. I'm sure pretty soon I'm going to reach the moon. I don't think I've ever been higher than this. Oh, this is unreal. But it's not so bad. I'm just. In the simplest gears, just grinding away. <sighs> Slow and steady wins the race. Anyhow, I'm like, see you at. Bye bye. Manzo. Well, I'm really in the clouds now. Look at that. I'm sure over this little wall is a beautiful view, but... <laughs> Last night, I didn't sleep too well. And um, when I got up this morning, noticed that I've got to do another day's riding from the mountains and that it was drizzling. Overcast, everything was wet, it was cold. I wasn't really um, so looking forward to this, but now that I'm up here, this has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's been hard going, yeah, but just being out in the middle of nowhere, seeing the views, hearing the birds, and um, even getting up into the clouds. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. Oh, just gonna chill out here for five minutes. And contemplate why I keep saying fantastic too much.
Well, what's this? Messy, messy Chinese. So I just come all the way up this road, went on for miles and it's still like an incline, but like it was a real gradual one. So it's just been really slow going, but thankfully I've just found this cafe just off here, <laughs> which I've just popped into and just ordered some food. So I'm just gonna chill out, get my lunch. It's about, oh, it's 1.30 exactly more or less. So I'm gonna go in here and eat some meat. Right, I've checked the map. And even though it's hard going, I think I'm gonna to have to really get a move on before it gets dark. Because I have not made as much progress as what I'd want. Because even though I've been pedaling since, well, like 10.30 this morning, like over three hours now, three and a half, nearly four hours, I haven't even gone halfway. Because it's just been so steep. Hopefully, I'll start going down soon. I think I'm calling it, this is the worst road I've ever ridden on. Not only has it gone on for miles, all uneven, full of potholes, but there's a headwind and it's been in a constant shallow incline for the entire length of it. I'm pushing like 16 kilometers an hour. Oh. And plus, I thought I'd be in the mountains with scenery everywhere. Oh. Even these bloody trees don't have leaves. What's going on? Oh, I'm due to descent soon. Oh. This is even more exhausting than going up at the start of this trip because it's just been so unrelentingly steep. Like, I don't mean like that, like steep, great gradient, but it's just been consistently up. I haven't been able to get any speed up. I've just been plodding along. Please go down soon. Is this it? Is this the descent? Please don't send me down just to send me right back up again. Oh, wow, that's a good view. Oh, yeah, here it is. There's a lot of water down there.
adventure in a ghost town. It justifies everything I was saying earlier yeah, you know, about oh this is on an incline for so long I have just been coming down for so long just an autopilot and look the road has a dip I keep checking my bike computer thinking oh Christ please don't say I've made a wrong turn that I have to go back I don't know if the camera was picking up uh, my voice uh, when I was chatting on it but wow that descent was amazing but god that wind was just scary I was having to really fed the brakes when I was coming around the corners because there were just some steep bloody drops a few cyclists just came and <laughs> just started chatting to me asking if they had a problem with the bike or whatever and I uh, just got talking to them, been chatting to them for like 10 minutes, like with broken Chinese, broken English. <laughs> but it's nice just when you stop by the side of the road and it's just like you just get chatting to other cyclists. Or every time you see a cyclist on the road, it's like, yo, come on. But yeah, um, that's it for my rest. Better find the hotel. Or Oh, I think this is it. Hey, Niha. Uh, what you had there, what your year? Uh, was Zhao Shang Myla. I've arrived. Oh. Nice room. And just as so I did arrive, the uh, cup ran out of batteries. What a view! Wow! Speaking of views, my camera's all messed up. There we go. Right, I'm gonna take a shower. So it's about seven o'clock. Just taking a walk out, trying to find somewhere that I can get some food. I'm not really too hungry tonight, but best to eat something. Um, I'd be happy if I could just find this like a 7-Eleven. Just grab something I could um, tip back and eat in the hotel room whilst I edit this video together. Maybe grab a couple of cans of beer. This is nice. It's getting a bit chilly here now. I don't want to be walking around for too long. So, uh, now I'm just rambling. <laughs> Hopefully I just find some place soon. I don't know what to say. I'm looking for food, that's it. This looks like a shop. I think it is a shop. Not sure if it has ready meals in here though. Noodles would do, to be honest. Okay, start of day three. 
Sitting up late today. It's like spot on noon, 12 o'clock. Woke up this morning quite late. Ordered myself McDonald's to the hotel. I only ate the hash brown and the uh, fried dough bread. And the coffee. Well, drank the coffee. Oh, I left my crappy, shitty looking burger. Um, but I spent the morning editing the second day of the video. So I got out of the hotel just before they charged me more. I think today, today it's just going to be a straight ride home. I've come home from Yenchin before. So it's a nice descent through the mountains. And then I've just plotted um, a straight forward route, so I don't think there's going to be too much to see. Maybe something will happen, but it should be a pretty easy ride home. Just so as I was um, making that descent, for some reason my um, axle started squeaking, like it's got a baby mouse inside of it. 
And what did I put right at the back, back of my bag? Because I didn't think I'd need it, but the lubricants, fantastic. Oh, that's better. I can get home in peace now. Practically back home now, and um, apart from that descent, the way back was uh, pretty uneventful. But that was to be expected because I'd set the bike computer to just um, give me a route which is the fastest. I didn't arrange it to go through any villages or anything scenic. Um, yeah, these couple of seas are uh, pissing me off now. They're yeah, coming out in force, so I'm gonna have to get some air fever medicine. For the chemist when I get back home. Uh, yeah, that's it from me. Been good to get out again. Go on a bit of a trip. I'm surprisingly not that tired and fatigued. I could go for another day, but I don't think I'll bother. I'm home now. Right, if you watched this far, um, thank you so much for your time and um, take it easy.